Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome to my next Let's Play of Let's Play Super Mario World. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I originally did this project back in 2007. However, it was of bad quality and there was no commentary, so I thought I'd take a chance to go back through memory lane and redo this game because it's uh, personally one of my all-time favorites. It also happens to be my very first video game of all time. I played this game when I was, like, barely even two years old. <clears throat> so we're going to start a new file. We're going to get all 96 hidden goals in this game. Welcome, this is Dinosaur Land. In this strange land, we find that Princess Toadstool is missing again. Looks like Bowser is at it again. Oh, Bowser, when will you learn? First up, we have Yoshi's Island at Yoshi's House. There is absolutely nothing we can do here. There is a message block in the middle. Let's hit it. Hello, sorry, I'm not home, but I have to find my friends. They were kidnapped by Bowser. Hmm. Well, it seems that Yoshi isn't home, so let's go look for him. Yoshi's Island 1, the first level. Not a very hard stage. There are a few things that can catch you by surprise, like that giant bonsai bill right there. Okay, let's get a mushroom, so we're big. We can actually take one hit now. One extra hit, I mean. Uh, those big coins I just collected, those are dragon coins. Find all five in a level and you'll get a secret life. You can spin jump to break brick blocks. And you can only break them when you're uh, big Mario. You can't do it when you're small Mario. Whee! That's a midway goal. And wow, we are just breezing through the level. I said it was pretty easy. There's a lot of chances to get screwed by bonsai bill, the bills, though. When I was younger, those would always catch me by surprise. Get the one up. You can also wait for it, but why would you wait for it? Get a fire flower here. Those enemies are called Rexes. The one that just hit me. And those are Charging and Chucks, one of my favorite enemies of the Mario series. Also, when you cut the tape at the end goal, you get a number. When that number reaches 100, you can play a bonus game. Probably won't get a bonus game in this video, though. Probably have to wait till next video. <clears throat> Over here, we have the Yellow Switch Palace. This is a very good way to get 1-ups. However, you can only play this stage once. Once you finish the stage, you can never complete it again. Hit the P-Switch for a boatload of coins. Great chance to get one-ups here. Uh, maximum probably about three, but it really depends on how many coins you have when you enter this stage. Okay, in the green pipe, we have the exit. And all you have to do with the exit for the Switch Palaces is pound on the Switch. And because we pounded the switch, all the dotted yellow line blocks will now be solid yellow blocks. With an exclamation, point, part, point, an exclamation mark on them. And if you hit them uh, from underneath, you get a mushroom if you, you hit one from underneath. Okay, so now we're going to go to Yoshi's Island 2. From the very beginning... Pick up the Koopa shell and throw it at the Koopas for a 1-up. So yeah, I know a lot about this game. I don't know every single thing, but I know quite a bit of things. Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me. My name is Yoshi. Ah, uh, he got trapped by Bowser. So Yoshi is pretty cool. He has a lot of different features. Uh, he gives you one extra hit. He can run pretty fast for Yoshi. Uh, he can eat some enemies, he can't eat all enemies, and he can also... He has a pretty good, good uh, untouchable jump attack. Because, uh, usually when you jump on something with Yoshi, you will not get damaged. While, if you're just Mario, there are a few things that can damage you if you try to jump on them. One of my favorite features of Yoshi, though, is... Run, jump, and jump off Yoshi. You get a very high super jump. I will be using that... Uh, jump in future episodes, particularly when we get to a stage called Cheese Bridge. I will show you what I mean when we get there, though. 
Peace, witch. And let's cut the tape. If you get it at the very top, you will get 50 points. I think 50 is the highest you can go. But a 40 is a pretty good score. I think it goes from... I think it's in units of 1 up to 20, then it's by 5s. And then it's uh, 40 and then 50. Okay, this is a mountain... Well, not really a mountain, but it's a cliff stage. Also, if you don't have Yoshi and you hit a Yoshi block, the egg will turn into a 1-up. Uh, that actually happened in the last stage midway through, but I forgot to mention it. Secret pipe down here. This is where you get one of the dragon coins of this level. So make sure you don't miss it if you want to go for collecting all of them. In this game, you get nothing really special for collecting all the dragon coins. Uh, they really kind of encourage you to collect them all in the Game Boy remake of this, uh, Super Mario Advance 2. They actually have a little screen that keeps track of if you got all the dragon coins in a level, but not in this game. They didn't. They don't really care that much in this game. They're just a way to get one-ups. Okay, this block right here is a star block. To be honest, I don't really know the function of it. I think it has something to do with like how many coins you have or what uh, number it is on the timer or something. I don't know exactly what it's there for. It's been so long since I've really gotten anything from that. I think if you hit it at the right time or with the right coin total, uh, you'll get a 1-up or something. But I don't know for sure. If anyone wants to comment on that, feel free. This is a water stage, but not a full water stage. It's just water at the bottom. You don't even have to touch the water for the most part. Secret area in here. I don't think there's any dragon coins in here, though. I think it's just here if you don't want to go through the next part of the water level. But there's really no point for this, this room. I think it's just here to give you coins. And extra points if you want them. Okay, uh, we'll go back a little bit. Actually, I'll, I can crush the Koopa Shell. If you don't have Yoshi, you need the Koopa Shell to get what's inside that block up here. But with uh, without the P-Switch, you can just do the Yoshi jump. So let's leave it here. Jump. And here we have a Starman. I think after you hit eight enemies with the Starman, you get a 1-up, I believe. I think it's eight enemies. It's either eight or seven or nine. I want to go ahead and say 7, because I think it, the magic number is 7. Okay, let's get the tape. Let's get the tape. Ah, oh, I missed it. Oh, well. No big deal. We'll show the bonus in the next episode. Okay, so we have about... Uh, 2 minutes and 30 seconds left. Um, that might be enough time for the castle. Oh, yeah, Yoshi can't go inside castles because he's scared. Okay, welcome to one of my favorite musical tracks in the game. I just love the castle theme for this, uh, for this uh, game. And I'm so glad they put it back in Brawl. Like, they made a remix of it for Brawl. So here's a little cool feature of this uh, gate climbing level. If you uh, hit a Koopa from above and they have to be on the same side of the fence, you can actually score quite a bit of 1-ups. It doesn't work if you uh, punch through the fence because you can punch through the fence if you hit, I want to say Y, the Y button. It won't count, but if you actually just like land on top of them while on the fence, it counts as if you're jumping on them. So if you keep it up throughout the whole room, you can get about... Uh, seven or eight one-ups. You can even go to the other side of the fence and you can continue jumping, but I didn't have the time to really go over that. Uh, one of the few castles to have a midway point. The plunger room. Pretty self-explanatory. You don't want to get smashed. 
I guess I should talk about the reserve function. Uh, you see that uh, blue box at the top? Well, the more power-ups you collect, sometimes they'll be stored up there in that box. And if you hit the select button, they can actually drop down there. So you have one and always have one in reserves. It's Iggy Koopa! Whoa. Okay, was, was that just me or was that awesome? Oh my god, I've never done that before. <laughs> Wow, that was that was that was kind of cool. Okay, to beat him though, you just want to jump on top of him when the teeter totter is slanting towards him. Uh, that way, he'll go back farther until you can actually jump on him and then uh, knock him off into the lava. It also works if you use a fire flower. Fire flowers count as normal jumps. But that's about it for this video. See you next time when we go to Donut Land. Later, guys.